Hey guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my third update, second update <laughs> for my palette palette 2.0. I started working on this e.l.f. palette. It has six eyeshadows. Technically, I'm working only on five because one of them is a black eyeshadow and you guys know how I feel about black eyeshadow. If this is the first time in that you're watching my video, I don't play with black eyeshadows, I don't use black eyeshadows, I don't have no need for black eyeshadows, so I wanted to skip that part, but apparently I said it anyway. Anyway, like I said, I'm working on this palette, and I'm very excited because I have good progress, so without any further ado, I'm just going to show you guys a picture of where I was the last time. And this is where I'm at right now. So super, super exciting update. Um, let's start from left to right, shall we? I started, um, I hit pan on this green shade. I if Last month, I did not have a pan on this one. So this is a brand new pan. So I'm very, very happy about that. Then I, I expanded the pan on this. It's kind of a dark burgundy shade. Um, and I had the smallest little bit of pan, but obviously, as you guys can see, I was able to expand it, so I'm very, very happy about that. This shade right here, this dark gray shade, I almost finished it. I had to like stop myself. You guys how I feel, know how I feel about uh, not showing like progress pan. I, I, I don't like to go from zero to 100. Um, I like to show you guys a pan in between, so I had to stop myself from using this shade. I'm actually going to repress this shade and because uh, it's getting harder to use, but it's a very pretty shade. I use it mostly as a one eyeshadow look. Uh, I am planning a video uh, on, the, um, on the looks that I've been creating with this eyeshadow, so keep an eye out for that. But anyway, that's what this shade is right here. For this silvery um, shade, I did not have pan last time, but I was able to hit pan on this guy. I, I'm sorry, excuse me. I was making some chili and like the house still smells like, like chilies and the pepper and the scent. So I've been sneezing a lot. <laughs> anyway, uh, this shade right here, I was able to hit pan. That one also didn't have any pan last update. So I'm very happy that I did uh, hit pan. And finally, this shade right here, that was a cream um, shade and that's the shade that I used to set my eyeshadow primer. I had the tiniest little bit of eyeshadow uh, of pen right here in the corner uh, but obviously I used it all up and that's what it's looking like right now. I'm very very happy that this palette it has this much progress in the short amount of time that I've been using it. Um, I feel like the pants are pretty shallow um, and the formula is very soft and buttery uh, even though these are like 10 years old I'm not kidding uh, the formula itself is still very soft and buttery and so they do create a some some bit of kick up I do use some elf brushes uh, some Mary Kay brushes and a Sonia Kashuk brush um, that I've been using with these um, colors and yeah like I said I I'm also not very I'm not the gentlest person when it comes to applying makeup. So I feel like maybe that has something to do with it. But I mean, I use this palette six days out of the week. You know, Monday through Friday when I go to work. And then Sundays are, you know, church, then family get together. Um, Saturday is really the only day that I don't wear makeup. Um, even if I have like things to do, like run errands and stuff, I really won't wear makeup on a Saturday. I uh, just kind of like to leave to give my skin a break from the makeup. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very exciting. Like I said, next time, I think predictions for next time, I am going to obviously be repressing this shade and I think I'll be able to finish it. And honestly, I don't think I can finish any other shades. I'm just looking forward to expanding the pan on those other three shades and hopefully I can, um, I would love to finish this palette by November. So I have two months basically to use up these um, three shades. Well, technically four, but we, I'm counting this one as a given that I'm going to finish. But I have two months to use up these three. Um, I see a lot of smoky eyes <laughs> coming in the future. But yeah, 
that's it. That's what this palette is looking like. I don't know if I said it. Uh, by the way, this is the e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow palette. Uh, and it's in the the uh, shade Maleficent. It was a collection from Disney by Walgreens or for Walgreens. Um, and it was all about the Evil Queens. I also have this palette that's in the Evil Queen edition. And like I said, this is Maleficent. And it does have the shades right here. Originally, it's just a, a little plastic that comes over this right here. But so I wouldn't lose it. I taped it on top of the, of the packaging. So can you guys even see? I don't know why it's so dirty. I'm sorry. There, I kind of cleaned it up a little bit. <laughs> but I'll give you guys one more look. And that's it. Today, I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing my... Um, Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in the color 6 in the city. That's what I'm wearing. I feel like I've been using a lot of like dark shades, so I wanted like a pop of color. So that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.